Hi guys. I'm in the middle of a little project here, but I've been out for a cup of coffee and popped into the bargain store that was next door and got totally sidetracked. I spotted this little radio controlled car. And what was interesting to me was it was only £4.99, that's brand new. It's a uh, 27 megahertz forwards, backwards, left and right turn and <laughs> it occurred to me I could convert that infrared spider by using the parts so I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop doing the other project for a few minutes and see if I can swap it over First thing we'll do is take it out of the box and actually check that it works. Seems a bit of a shame to do it, but um, I do rather want to have a go getting that spider working. So that all works. So we'll now take it apart and transfer the receiver from there to there. terminals are nicely labelled. The blue and green wires go to the steering motor. Yellow and white wires go to the drive motor. I'm heating and soldering on up. But we'll finish taking this apart. That is a nice little car that. To one side. I should have cleared a proper space, but I just want to get on with this quickly. So, we're going to replace that infrared receiver with that 27 megahertz radio receiver. Interestingly enough, the coloured wires are the same colours. I've just checked, even though the colours they've used are the same, yellow, white, green and blue, they've actually got them connected in reverse on the spider. So green and blue go to right and left and yellow and white go to backwards and forwards. But that's not really going to matter at all. They still do the same basic thing. I just might have the controls reverse when I come to use them. Right, desoldering time. You might be able to hear my wife doing some cooking in the background or mixing a cake anyway. the antenna wire connected. Just 
Now we'll connect the wires up to the radio receiver. So, yellow went to right. Put some batteries in. I haven't actually connected up the antenna, but I think this close we're going to be okay anyway. So, that's one side. That works. So, We don't have as any flashing LEDs or lights, so I need to work out if there's a chance of connecting anything up there. If there isn't, we'll just have to go without. One of the bits that we don't need in the spider anymore is the infrared receiver. Or the infrared um, detector. So I might as well take that out. That will be useful for other projects. And that then leaves us with a convenient hole for the antenna to poke up through. Right, you won't be able to see this clearly, but I've wired up an LED so it comes on when we actually switch it on. So we've got the LED with the resistor in circuit, just so that I know that I've left it switched on. So that should do the job. So we'll put them all back together. We're in the kitchen. My wife's got the oven on cooking the dinner. So it's a bit noisy. But we'll give him a test run. Switch him on. Don't know if you can see, but his little eyes are actually glowing red now. So that I know he's switched on. So. Well, I reckon that's complete success. So we've converted a dead infrared controlled spider to a live radio controlled spider by using the parts out of a very cheap radio controlled car. £4.99 the car cost me. Mind you, the radio controlled spider when it was an infrared spider, brand new, isn't a lot more than that, it's under £20 anyway, but I've proved it can be done. And once you get your head round which way the controls go, he's easy to control too. So, that'll do for Halloween.